making plays for each other. You know, even when we didn't make the shot, I thought the ball was moving. Uh, the guys were trying to screen, do something for each other, uh, create action. Um, it's you know, it's kind of you know similar to what we saw in the first 13 games. Um, and then once we got a little bit of validation, we kind of climbed back into it. Uh, middle of the first, I thought that you know breathed confidence in what we were trying to do, and, and guys stuck with it. Did you all get Brad the ball in some different spots tonight? No, I mean nothing you know out of the ordinary necessarily. I mean, he's going to play a lot of pick and rolls. Uh, you know, we're going to put him in catch and shoot situations. But uh, you know, I thought the overall the huge team win. You know, against a tough Western Conference opponent. How important was it for you guys? I mean, you never led more than six, which is the final score. How important was it? Never got that that big cushion, mm -hmm. but you kept playing, uh, kept scoring. We got down 12 early, you know, and we kind of like got back into it. But, uh, you know, I think it's great because, you know, we're, we're going to be in a lot of games like that, uh, you know, especially late in the year. So we weather the storm, you know, knowing that they're going to make a run, you know, keep playing the right way, even when it doesn't necessarily go as we planned, but, uh, you know, I'm proud of them because everyone to a man stepped up. Defensively at the end, all they got were some really forced looks by Mitchell. What was what was the plan there in the last minute or I thought, actually the last three minutes? No, I thought Denny, uh, you know, Brad, Pope, I mean, everyone had a crack at, at Duncan and he had a heck of a game, but uh, just try to put a little bit more pressure on, you know, Gaff, Trez, we had to adjust our levels with his pick and rolls. So it wasn't the same look every possession. That's hard to do, you know, you kind of get in a rhythm of, all right, this is where I'm going to be and this is how I'm going to guard it. Being able to do that, you know, dead ball situations and change change the levels just to keep him out of a comfort zone, keep him from seeing a lot of daylight space. And he's he's really good when he gets downhill. Uh, whether to score, he gets to the line, or he's great at kicking, you know, kicking out and finding threes. What did you see from Denny tonight? Just, you know, another awesome defensive effort. You know, I thought he was great. Uh, his size, his, his physicality. Uh, I thought it was uh, much improved you know, in the pick and roll. And some of that too goes to the levels at which our bigs were, were at, but um, he played with a good purpose. You know, it, it didn't didn't do uh, too much. I'll let the game come to him, but uh, I just like his aggression on the defensive end. What was your rationale of, of closing out the game with Powell uh, and as opposed to saying Ratchet. Yeah, no, we had the d debate and it's, you know, do you bring him back? And the group that was out there, I thought had a great synergy. Um, they were playing, you know, playing hard and I thought playing well at that time. So I just went with my gut and kept him in there. I thought yeah. Howell was, was impactful. Yeah, how important was that jump ball? Oh, that so he huge. got at, at the end. Huge play. Uh, that three there. We might let him jump to start the game. <laughs> right. uh, but, but no, it's just one of those plays, you know, he, He's got he's got guts and he, he's fiery. He's, he's uh, very competitive, and he, he took advantage of that moment. Went to go get it, and Pope hits a you know incredible three, and we needed it. But he threw one in, and you know it's uh, it's good for that group. You know we've had a tough stretch. Obviously lost four in a row on this trip, but uh, um, coming into this game on the road, you're like okay, it's a tough place to play, and you know we didn't handle it well second half in our first meeting in Washington. So to see us kind of play, you know, a close to a 48 minute game, I think that's, you know, it's really good. You say debate, you, mean you and your assistant coaches during timeouts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, he, he's a starter for a reason <laughs> and you trust him, but you know, you also got to read the flow and those guys are playing well. Chase. Hey, Wes, um, you guys beat them in the paint 54 to 30. It was your best defensive game in the paint in over a month. Uh, what was different tonight? Uh, I mean, I thought you know, the one on one was, was solid. Our, our pick and roll defense was improved, um, much improved compared to the, our first meeting. Um, so I think the combination of the two, uh, we did a better job in transition. And I think overall, did a better job on the glass. And you talked about uh, Denny Avdia's defense. Um, what have you thought about his offense lately? Because he's uh, been a little bit more consistent, you know, reaching double figures than he has been in the past. I think some of it too is the minutes. You know, he's showing that he can be a, uh, you know, defensive stopper at times. You know, he's going to stay on the floor, and he knows how to play. That's we we know that. Um, he's just staying aggressive. He's letting the game come to him, and when the ball finds him, he's. He's confident enough. He'll, he'll step up, make a shot, or he's going to attack, try to find the, 
uh, you know, the big on the roll or, or look for a kick out. He's not going to do too much, which I like. Ava. Wes, um, what did you see out of their turnovers? How uncomfortable were you guys able to make them uh, in that regard? Well, I think the, uh, you know, the point about, you know, being a little bit more aggressive in pick and rolls just takes away some of the space and daylight. You know, I think most dynamic players don't want to play with two bodies in front of them. So it, it makes sense. You know, when you do put two on the ball, there's obviously a hole. You know, somebody's going to be open. So there's a level of communication and scramble, uh, cover mentality. Uh, but just the mix of levels, you know, where uh, we kind of play the game within the game, keep them guessing. Uh, so they're just not reading a steady diet and trying to pick us apart. Um, correct me if, I'm wrong, if you have like a different interpretation, but it seemed like Denny on defense in particular really was able to kind of set a tone. Um, how often, I guess, do you see that from someone coming off the bench? Uh, it doesn't happen often, but you know, there, there are quite a few examples. Um, you know, they're, they're different, you know, skill sets with guys. You know, you come off the bench, you change the pace offensively, you push the ball. Um, you know, you come off the bench, be a shooter. Um, so I think it's it's just a, a good asset to have, you know, where he can play. He's going to change the collection of the game, you know, on the defensive end. And obviously he's going to get more comfortable offensively, making shots, playing off the bounce, playing in pick and rolls. Uh, it just bolsters your, your second unit. Neil. Hey, Coach, you've said before that, you know, you're not aware of anything injury-wise with Spencer. Do you think that he's still just adjusting to playing post-surgery and just reacclimating himself to that if that's any major change for him? Uh, I, I'm not really sure. Uh, without asking him directly, I don't know. I mean, he's still, he's not, I don't think he's a year out yet. So, you know, to have him playing and playing the minutes that he has, I think in itself is remarkable. Um, so it could be just the, you know, the aggregate of the season at this point through 31 games. And it does take a toll on, you know, it's, we haven't had a ton of days where it's just, you know, two days in between. It's pretty much game day, game day. I think we're t on the tail end of 17 games in 31 days. So it, it's been, you know, quite the grind. Chris Tos. Hello, coach. Congratulations on the win for Small. Uh, you mentioned the, the toughness and the willingness of uh, Raul, Raul on tonight's game. That uh, willingness represent the, the whole team's effort on tonight's game? No, I think it embodied that. You know, I thought um, we had the, the right mindset to start the game. And, you know, obviously struggled to make shots early. Uh, they kind of jumped on us, made, I think, six threes in that first quarter. Uh, got up by 12, and we were able to kind of whittle it back and make it a game finished the quarter on the right way. And I thought that helped us give us a little bit more momentum into that second quarter and into the half. Uh, but to your point, you know, we set the tone defensively, I thought, uh, and then we ratcheted it up again in the second half. Um, so I think that's, it, it's a good sign to see. And I, I told those guys, hopefully, you know, we can put what we've been through, you know, behind us and continue to play the right way and hopefully see the results that, that come. And what it means for you, the way that you close the game out? Well, anyway, you know, it's going to be tough because we're going to find ourselves in a lot of tough games. Um, and it's not always going to be where we're just going to take the lead and run away with it. We have to find a way to gut out, you know, those tight wins, to execute down the stretch, get stops in a timely fashion, um, you know, change up lineups, change up uh, coverages, do those things on the fly. I think the good teams are able to do that. If we can kind of continue with that trend and be comfortable doing that, I think, um, you know, it, it'll help us as we go forward. Danny, I know you play 82 games a year, but how important was this win and to win it the way you guys won it here? You just, the character. I mean, I don't know about the others. I think the, other, the others won that win too, but I just wanted that win so much. We started a road trip tough. We lost three games. We should have won some of them. And getting this last win on the road versus a very good Western Conference team means a lot about our team, means a lot about our players. And uh, as, as bad of like a stretch we had, we managed to keep playing through and beat a very, very good team. So I'm proud of the guys. A little bit about the, the defensive effort, especially at the end. 
how you were able to switch up coverages, especially on Mitchell there? The coaches just trust me. You know, the coaches trust me. The teammates trust me. I, I just want to say a big shout out, first of all, to, to the team because it's a team defense in the, end of the, in the end of the day. I can go through screens, under, over, chase guys, but if I don't get the right amount of help from the, uh, from the guys, I won't be able to make those stops. So, first of all, it's a team defense. And second of all, it's just the, the coaches trust, trust my defense. They want me to guard the best player every game, and I'm just taking part of it. And, and I like this job. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to grow from it. I'm trying to add more to my game from it. But that's my bread and butter. And, and, and I'm doing it uh, solid, and, and I like this job. Did you do anything uh, different at the end of the game than in the middle at the start? It looked like you guys showed some different coverages. Yeah, we like with those good players, you, you, you got to mix up coverages. You can't just uh, be on a steady diet of just running the same defense because – Eventually, they'll pick it apart. So just be able to switch, be able to draw, be able to be up the touch. It's really important for us to mix it and be good at each and every one of those defenses so we can switch it and make it tougher on, on our opponent. So that's about it. There are moments tonight where you were guarding primarily Clarkson. Yes. And then there are moments tonight where you were guarding Mitchell. These are two different players. What does it mean to you that the coach Those are guards, too. Keep forgetting. Yes, I know they're guards. <laughs> Those are guards. Too. I know they're wings, but they also have different body types, different. Yeah. Different just, first of all, I know the personnel. <laughs> Studying players, I'm watching games, I'm watching personnel, I'm watching film. Um, I just know the tendencies, and I, I learned their games, and I just take pride. I take the challenge. You know, I'm not backing off nobody. I'm not scared of anybody. And I'm doing this for my team, so. No. My apologies if you covered this last year, but what is what is where did this come from? No, this, yeah, it's just I, I've done it a couple of times this year. It's just it means like clams. That's how the, our guys and I. Uh, that's how we define like when I play good defense or I, oh, I lock somebody up. We just we just do that. So so it's, it's, it's just a fun joke like <laughs> in the team. So. And that's my that's my signature after I lock somebody up. Chase. Hey, Denny. Uh, speaking of that, I saw Brad uh, throw up the X late in the game. Was that to you? Of course. <laughs> what else can we talk to? <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Well. Speaking of uh, uh, defense, you know, I wanted to ask you about your offense. You know, you've reached double figures the last three games. Um, first time in your career you've done that. Has there been uh, something that's allowed you to be more consistent offensively as this season has gone on? It's just my – it's just – it's just in the head. I mean, I think that I can um, add a lot offensively too. I mean, my my game will develop. I will develop offensively. But I think I can um, really help the team also offensively. And my confidence, my confidence is growing. And the guys trust me more offensively. And I just, as more I play free and without thinking, uh, thinking like overthinking about it, I'm just going to keep helping the guys, keep helping the team offensively too in the end of the day. So I'm just staying positive, keep my confidence up. And, you know, it's, it's going to be ups and downs, but, I'm trying to develop my game offensively too. Sure. Ava. Danny, you were one of a couple guys with seven rebounds. What was the um, difference this time around on the boards for you guys? Just both boxing out, being more aggressive, being there for each other. Like when you grab a rebound, that's all the team needs to work for this. So the guy will cro will, will, won't crush, crush in. And the big guy, Rudy, he's a great rebounder. And Gafford did, and Gaff and Montrez did a great job on him, boxing him out and be and let me and other guys be able to rebound better. So this is just part of the job, to be honest. Neil. Hey, Denny. How has been your overall adjustment to three-point shooting in the NBA, you know, obviously through last season and up until so far this year? My adjustment? Yep. 
Has first there been all, any? First of, first of all, I'm working tons of my shop, extra hours. Like people don't see it, and I struggled a little bit. Um, and the percentage are talking different, but I'm every night or every road trip. I'm going to the arena. I'm going to the gym. Like every day, I'm going at night shooting. So I'm really staying consistent on, on my routine, uh, and just I just think that everything goes in. I believe that the next shot goes in, the next shot goes in, and I'm not I'm not gonna stop shooting. Like I believe in my shot. I'm confident in my shot, and I think it's just a matter of time until it's like gonna get consistent. Walk me through that play when you see uh, Powell uh, lining up against Mitchell for the the jump ball. Um. I well, you know, when I was lining up, um, I didn't even check the uh, the shot clock at the time. Uh, so I when I I ooh on the uh, jump ball and I got it. All I heard was from the bench was butter, which means uh, mm-hmm. late clock. Um, and I just turned around, looked at the clock a little bit, got separation, and, and, and let it fly. How big was that that play? Uh, you know, going down the stretch. I mean. It was hard for you guys to shake him. I think that the largest lead you ever had was six points, which was the final. Uh, it, was, it was big. You know, that shot was big. You know, uh, I felt like I should have made the, the first two or the, the first three I shot. You know, they were short. Um, but just to see that one go through, you know, felt good. You know, I knew just keep shooting. Uh, I knew eventually it was going to go through. I know you, you guys play 82 of these. I get it. This is the regular season, not the playoffs. But... How big was this win? Uh, it was it was big. Wow. We really needed this win. Uh, we've been on a slippery slope, you know, the last 10, 12 games. Uh, and we really needed this win to get back to where we need to get back to. Uh, and that's just uh, playing, you know, our basketball and playing within ourselves uh, and for each other. What's the dialogue been like among players and between players and coaches since the game in Phoenix? It's been good. You know, we felt like we did, you know, some great things in Phoenix. Uh, just kind of slipped away from us. Um, but, you know, but tonight, you know, we kind of carried that over from film. You know, we got right to it. You know, great energy to start the game. And then, but like we, you know, we started the game slow. Uh, they made a couple of threes. Uh, but we, we didn't we didn't let it go. You know, we kept, we kept fighting. You know, we eventually got the lead. You know, they take lead back to the third, maybe the fourth. So, you know, we, we was on our game tonight. You, you know defense. Uh, what, what are your impressions of, of obvious defense? Fairly impression. I, I didn't know he, he, could, he could sit down and defend like that, um, which is good. You know, um, you need other guys like that, you know, and, that kind of like, you know, that energy that he gave tonight uh, kind of rubbed off on everybody. You know, we, we, we all bucked down on defense. You know, we all was getting uh, stops when we needed them. You know, Brad was playing great defense tonight. Uh, you know, we all was. The Alf was at the rim protecting the rim. You know, everybody was uh, pitching in and we did our job tonight. Jeff, you know, Hey Amen. Uh, Brad's been scoring like we know he can lately. Um, these last three games in particular, you know, scoring 20 points, 19 points in the first half. Just what has that done for you guys uh, as you try to get off some better starts? Um, I feel like it's more for him, you know, get him, get him in the rhythm. You know, he's been in the rhythm the last couple, a uh, few games. Uh, like you said, uh, you know, we just want to keep him there. You know, he's, he's our, our top scorer, you know, uh, the one that when we, we need a bucket, we can look at him and go to him. Um, but just, you know, we just want to continue to keep his rhythm, you know, keep him going. Ava. KCP, how um, important was it that, like you said, it wasn't like you guys were doing anything different tonight? Uh, you were running the same kind of sets and offense. Does, does that make a difference in um, the significance of this one? Uh, yes. I mean, I feel like tonight we ran our offense with a lot of pace. Um, and we was moving the ball. We were moving the defense from side to side, you know, getting to one to the third side, you know, and just playing. Uh, you know, we were just playing free. 
you know, playing for each other, you know, pulling for each other, you know, and even when they made their runs, we stayed together, you know, we made, and we, we made our runs and we made defensive stops when we needed them. Um, I feel like our pace on offense was, was, was tremendous tonight. And a lot of guys have been talking about, obviously, how badly you guys wanted this win. How do you kind of recreate that, um, I guess, emotion, determination, whatever, when you're not coming off of a, of a four-game uh, streak? Like, how does, how does, who does that have to come from, I guess? Um, I mean, I feel like it's just come from, from, it should come from all of us. You know, the leaders should step up, um, you know, just to keep everybody together. Uh, but I feel like this team here, you know, everybody has that, that, that say so in that pool, you know, to keep everybody together. Neil. Hey, KCP, on that last shot, do you feel immediately that, you know, it's going in as soon as it leaves your fingertips? And then what was the emotion afterwards? Obviously, you and Brad, you know, dapped each other up and, you know, emotional play. Um, I mean, I think all my shots are going in when I shoot them. You know, just, <laughs> just to answer that question. Uh, but, um, yeah, the celebration was excitement. You know, um, we knew that was uh, make, trying to make it a run. Uh, and that that three, you know, before before the three, you know, we we had open looks, we missed a couple, you know, me, Brad, Howell, you know, we missed like some some great, you know, looks at the rim, uh, and then once that one went through, you know, just a relief, you know, uh, that we knew the game was a, a, a two game present a two possession game, uh, and all we needed was a stop and a rebound, uh, so the, the excitement was already there. We knew we had to win. Uh, and we really wanted this win. So we didn't want to go home uh, without the win. We were just going to get it by any means. Thanks, KCP. Safe travels back. Thank you. Last question to Christos real quick. Hey, KCP. Thank you. Hey, KCP, congratulations on the win. Thank what do you. you need to do as a team to build on that, on that effort and that victory as well? What was the question again? What do you need to do as a team to build on that effort and that victory? Um, I feel like we all just need to um, really take this, this the way we play, you know, our energy on both ends of the floor, you know, uh, take it to, you know, our film session. We know we're going to watch this film, you know, uh, and we just carry over what we did in this game. You know, we had some slippage, uh, but we, we stayed together and we, we kind of fixed it. Uh, throughout the game, so I feel like that that was our DNA to even start you know, of the season uh, when we went ten and three. I feel like we we just take this game right here and, and, we, and we build on it uh, as far as like you know team camaraderie, you know fighting for each other, like moving the ball. You know, it's got to continue to just just preach that. How good does this win feel, and how badly did your team? I know it's one eighty two, but how badly did your team? Uh, first, first my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strength and energy, focus and guidance tonight. Um, for us, it was, we had to, uh, it was a must win. I think every game on this trip was kind of a must win, you know. Um, this is the first one that I feel like we, we came into confidently, knowing that we can win the game. You know, I think a few of the other ones on the road trip, we kind of thought we could just flip on a light switch because of our opponent. Uh, you know, and then a lot of the games we kind of let slip away defensively. Um, offensively, we weren't making shots. Um, and tonight's kind of the first time we really put it together, you know, on this road trip. Uh, we knew that until the guys support the game, nobody's going to feel sorry for us. You know, nobody's going to, you know, kiss our butts. Nobody's going to, you know, say, oh, it's okay. Like, nobody's going to feel bad for us or sorry for us. Uh, only people who can get us out of this is us, these guys in the locker room. Um, and granted, we, we've only won one game. You know, we still, our schedule gets tougher. You know, we're going to New York, play two tough teams. Uh, but <clears throat> we can build off of this in a positive way. Because uh, we did a lot of things the right way, um, in which we were supposed to. Granted, Donovan had a crazy first half, uh, but we slowed him down and uh, we slowed their team. Why did you, why did you feel confident? I mean, this one compared to other ones recently. I had a, uh, I noticed in shooting around, we had a weird vibe. Uh, I didn't know whether it was good or bad, but like we weren't, 
we were very silent and it wasn't it was like a you kind of get nervous you're like oh is it is it are we distancing or is it like everybody locked in you know uh, it's really tough to gauge you know um but when we came out tonight everybody was locked in so I was like, okay that's a that's a positive you know so uh, i mean it's, it's a step in the right direction like we're humans we're gonna we deal with adversity we have good days bad days like everybody else uh Tonight we, we collectively understood and realized that you know nobody's gonna feel sorry for us, man. You know nobody's just gonna let us win games. Nobody's just gonna you know roll the ball out to here, Washington. Here you go. Uh, you know we gotta earn every single thing, every every second of the floor. We gotta earn respect. We gotta earn foul calls. We gotta earn points, stops. We have to earn everything. Um, so we have the right approach tonight, and I'm happy we did. How, how intense or how intense were the were the internal discussions among the team, or were they any different going into this one? No, we didn't. We didn't have a team meeting. We didn't do anything crazy. You know, we. Uh, I mean, it's just like kind of one of those things you're just done talking about. You, you know what you got to do. Go out and do your job. Uh, do it collectively. You know, uh, coach says it all the time. You know, either we're all in, or we're all out. You know, either you're with us or you're against us. You know, we. In terms of adversity, we need everybody, you know. Uh, everybody has to contribute. Everybody has to be locked in. Um, everybody has to root for the next man. Um, and I think we did that. I think we did that tonight against a really, really talented team. You know, they came in hungry off a tough loss last night. Um, so you could tell by the way Donovan came out at the beginning of the game, like he was, he was pissed off about last night. So uh, he came out really aggressive, and their team followed suit. They came out knocking down threes. Um, hitting the shots, we stayed poised, got stops, got back in the game, controlled the game, and finished. Personally, what was working well for you to see the season high tonight? Seems like you're getting back to your the way you're used to playing here the last few games. Uh, I mean, it's just being aggressive. I think I've, I've told people over the last few weeks, like it's everybody kind of has this expectation of me, you know, of, you know, and it's kind of my fault. I set the bar that that high. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody kind of has this expectation of, you know, what they expect me to do and how they expect me to play. But this is my team. Like, this is, I'm going to do what's best for the team and how our team needs to play. Uh, and we have a lot of guys who can shoot the ball. We have a lot of guys who are versatile, who can make plays outside of just myself. Um, so it, it becomes a fine line between balancing the two, you know, uh, you know, when to be creative and find your teammates and be unselfish and when to kind of be a little bit more selfish and, um, you know, get your team going. And for me, I know when I'm aggressive and putting pressure on the defense, it opens up everything. You know, makes makes guys getting shots easier. Makes them, you know, being able to handle, you know, off of my penetration better. Um, and then if I'm scoring, you know, it, it just it, it keeps the defense in the front. So uh, I'm just going to continue to have that mentality. You know, some shots were falling, and I've always said it at the beginning of the year. You know, it's just a matter of time before I just find my rhythm and. Just trust it. Speaking of your teammates, how big was it for Neto to win that jump ball, tip it over to KCP? Uh, well, we all know this is a personal game for Neto. Uh, you know, it's always like that with a team. You know, a team lets you go. You know, whenever you face them again, you just want to do everything in your power to crush them. Uh, and I will, he did that. You know, he made some big shots. He always makes some crappy, tough shots. Mm -hmm. um, but then his physical defensive presence is what I love. I always call him Wolfman. Uh, so he he's just he's a dog at all times, and he was he was resilient, you know, on both ends of the floor for us tonight. You know, he's a big key to to us winning. But obviously, uh, you know, he had a little extra chip in his on his shoulder. Wes mentioned before the game meeting, which accounts for a lot of different defensive coverages in the team, like the Jazz, and we saw that like different blitzes and hedging and switching and picking little stuff. What's the, what's the deciding factor on those coverages? Is it just Wes saying like, now do this, or are you guys kind of calling that out on the floor? The biggest thing is we stick to our principles. You know, we we stick to our basic defense uh, of how we guard. And uh, and we do it until we feel like we're being highly effective. By it. Like Grant, Donovan came out hitting some shots. So, okay, we got to make a change. Uh, you know, we do that. And I think we do that comfortably and on the fly. You know, and it's a, it's a two-way street. You know, coaches will give us some feedback and we give them, you know, what we see, what we feel on the court. You know, we, we make the decision from there. Uh, but, you know, with guys like Donovan, you gotta, you can't just give them one or two defenses. You know, you got to trap them, you got to blitz them. 
You know, you got to deny the ball. You know, you got to hedge. You got to switch. You know, put bigger guys on them. Put smaller, craftier guys in crowd. You just make it. You you give them different looks. You know, you can't you can't let a score like that. You know, get the same dose of you know, the same thing every time. You know, he'll he'll manipulate it eventually. So uh, I think we just stopped. You know, granted he had a he had a great game, but I think we did a good job holding. Trying to. Ava. Um, Brad, you mentioned shots falling, obviously, but in these past couple games for you, did anything trigger that other than being more aggressive, as you mentioned? Uh, nothing really triggered it. I mean, besides myself, a uh, little self, self-reflection, self self-evaluation, uh, just how I can be better, uh, ways I can help the team win and be a better leader. You know, obviously, I'm a big firm believer in leading by example too. Uh, so obviously if I'm not producing, I, I can't, my teammates are going to always believe in us, you know, so I, I got to go out and do what I do. Um, win, lose, or draw. I always got to stay positive, always up with my teammates. Uh, be better all around. You know, for me, it was just changing my mindset of being more aggressive, being that's who I am. You know, I'm a scorer. That's who I am. That's what I do. Uh, so do that to the best of my ability all while, you know, being creative and accepting this new role that I have. And you had a lot of big celebrations tonight, a lot of reason for big celebrations, but uh, can you kind of describe the emotion that you were playing with? Uh, God's blessed me tremendously in my life. Um, and that's, that's what I felt. I felt his joy and his peace upon me tonight. Like that's, that's what I credited it to. Um, it's been a rough few weeks for everybody. Uh, he, he is sovereign. You know, he is forgiven. He is caring, merciful. All things we as human are <laughs> sometimes. You know, so uh, somebody always has your back. You know, no matter what. You can always just call on for strength and peace, confidence. Like that's that's what keeps me going. That's that's why I play with so much joy tonight. Chase. Brad, you mentioned uh, being aggressive tonight. Can you uh, describe the dunk on Rudy Gobert? Uh, it's funny. You guys. <laughs> he blocked two of my shots in the first half. And it was funny. We were in the second half. We were at the free throw line. It was, it was me, Gap, and him. I looked at us. I said, I'm a dunk on your ass. But in the <laughs> game. And he started laughing. <laughs> I said, all right. Dude, I'm gonna try you. I'm not gonna. I know you might block it. I said you're blocking too many shots tonight. So we gotta try you. Uh, you know, Tres had a, a good highway screen for me. And you go up on him, you gotta try it. We're, we're gonna throw it, throw it right back in your face. So you know, I was fortunate to get him. I think I missed one against him last year, so I, I owe him. Uh, 